Hi everybody, what's gonna happen on this video? Uh, I'm gonna break down the numbers really quick to show you if you're still interested in getting a travel trailer RV, watch this video because it breaks down the numbers. And they're gonna deliver the travel trailer and I'm gonna set it up really quick and it, it informs you on the steps you need to do to set up an RV or a travel trailer. Uh, basically when you pull up to a campsite. Here's the numbers. Okay, if you get a travel trailer or an RV, okay? Or if you have an apartment. If you have an apartment, you're gonna, you're gonna have rent. If you have an apartment, you're gonna have rent. Your rent's gonna be $900 a month for your rent. Your electric's gonna be 950. So you're, and you could have water. You have to have, might have the water payment. So your monthly rent's gonna be about 950 a month. So check your homework. Every, every area is different in Florida. Rents might be a little bit higher, rents might be a little bit lower. Here in this part of Florida, I found that the rents are pretty high. Okay, then here's your travel trailer numbers. If you get a travel trailer or an RV, it's gonna be about $20,000 for a good model, 10 year payment is $200. You're gonna have to pay a park fee. Uh, it could, park fee could range from five to $900. I got a deal because it's off season. So my deal is 525, my deal. Off season rate 800, in season rate 900. So, guys, payments are exactly the same. The kicker is, if you own your own land and you own the trailer, your payments are only $100 to $150 a month. That's for everything, guys. Everything utilities anything you need you can even have solar power make them less payments we're gonna kick into your first steps you buy your RV you, you get all your plans you find the place you want to bring it to so this is what you got to do so you pull up so you pull up like that and then you just turn turn the wheel you turn the trailer you turn these wheels and then the trailer comes in and you and you just push it straight then the wheels just go straight the trailer is a lighter trailer so that's why I could pull it with my truck it's not too difficult three one seven four the other side in the grass okay and that's oh pull. and that's where I hang out that's with the oh cool yeah all right. gotcha <laughs> thanks man I yeah, appreciate it fire and alpha. Yeah, if is it good? good with you? If it's yeah. off the road, a I didn't know of if feet. you wanted to be here. No, no, you're good. Okay. As long as you're straight on the path, yeah. the main thing. Yeah. How long are you guys gonna be here? Uh, we're staying four months. That's perfect. Four months. Yeah. Oh, I like the back end. Because I want to get the hang of it, get used to it. I can see it this way. Put the trailer work on my truck. Get it all red. This is the sewer line. Yep. So this is how where it all this one goes. This, this goes okay that end. Here. And then this end with this the clips end. go on to their end. Okay. This one goes on here. The clips go on that end. And the bigger heavy duty go on the other yeah. end. That's hook. It connects right on there. Yeah. This end. Yeah. Goes to this. Let me see that one. That goes on to here. Okay, so there's ex oh okay. Just and snaps then that unscrews. I gotta get like a little wrench to unscrew. Oh, it just no. unscrews like yeah, that, huh? Yeah. yeah. It screws into this. What? Oh, gotta be careful that it doesn't. Uh... Okay, so you go easy with the right. threads, right. so it doesn't. It's plastic um, to plastic. Looks 
not a shape like that. Like the pipe is not it, yeah. your bend. Yeah. That might be the best you can get it. You got it in that time. It's right all, there. It's, it's even that time. Yep. Then you just snap that piece in. Yep. That's it. And then you now, can see it coming through when you now, flush I don't it. Know what, I don't know what he told you. I don't know how you... Yeah. But you leave this closed. Right. Right, you leave the... Did he tell you that? Yeah, he said you leave it closed right. and you let it build up in the tank. Right, to about... Three, and then... And then half what, three quarters. Half whatever. or three quarters. And you come out and drain it. Sure. Because yeah. the problem here in Florida is so yeah. much heat and it's a black tank. If you leave this open, it's always going to dry on the bottom and it's going to cake up on the bottom. Right, the so it won't it won't work if right. you leave it open. Over a period of time, you're going to have problems with it. So. So that's all. That's all hooked. Yeah. You're all so the sewer so lines hooked do up. Do you, you don't need nothing like hold this up like this or well, anything, they, or they just you little, think that one's alright. They have a little plastic piece that holds that up off the ground. You probably could make him put something there. A couple pieces of wood. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And that piece of wood that you got, if yeah. you just slide it underneath slide there. It underneath. I mean, all you doing is keeping it off the ground. That's all. I got five pieces like that. Yeah. Well, all you got to do is slide. It. I went to um, the RV dealer and they were selling these uh, pieces that you put underneath the stands for $35 each. I went to a home improvement center and I had my own cut with pressure treated wood so it can't rot or get bad. And uh, it cost me half the price. And they even cut it for me at there. So I recommend if you, you know, have a trailer, you could do that. It's a trick I learned. So here it is, like a jack. You see, like this. So and I'm gonna jack it right here. That's where I'm going to jack it. So I'm going to start jacking it down like this, just like a. guys just drove by they see me filming I heard him say that's how you jack a jack jack <laughs> that was a good it one it was guy. pretty easy the sewer line was pretty easy it was three connections you circle it you put the circle in memory screwed it in there he put the hose on the the 90 degree angle then he hooked it to the end to the uh, RV and then uh, all it was was the wire comes here it's your electrical wire comes out and uh, you're, you, you pull out your wire and it goes to the electrical box. That's right here. And then for your water, for your shower, we're gonna try to hook up the hose now, see if it's long enough. So you put the pressure, you put the pressure line on the end of the hose, then you hook in your water to that. And this one just screws right into the RV. Let's see if it fits. Just screw it on just like a hose. This one tightens, the middle one tightens it up. It's long enough, guys. Beautiful, it's long enough, it's perfect. And guys. That's it. Screws. All right. I have a little slight leak, but I tightened it and it's good. Looks good, no leaks. No leaks. No leaks. We set up all the major things before we even stepped inside, kinda. Let's open, open it up. Let's open it up. So to open it up, I hit this button. Out. Mm -hmm. 
We got it all lit up, set up, ready to roll, and I'm gonna spend the first night in the trailer. We can film everything. We're gonna show it off. 